Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for all 12 signs. How do they really feel? Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find it listed in the description box below the video, as well as the link to our Etsy store for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot. Mm. Also, I am giving away two recorded 15-minute readings at the end of the month. If you're interested in one of those readings, uh, you can leave me a positive affirmation comment or what you're doing for the holiday, followed by the word reading. Uh, so let's get into this for Aries. Let's see what's happening for Aries, guys. Let me get this shuffled. Okay. So Aries at one. You may be going on vacation with your partner. You may be at a distance. I feel like I feel like there's a commitment here. You may end up in a relationship, you may be traveling. You may have met somebody while you're traveling and ended up in having a romance with this person or getting into a relationship. What we got? Aries, what's happening? Cards over too. Let me see what else we got. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Aries, you may have been drunk. You may have been drinking. Um because you had liquid courage. You you may have been on vacation. Um so I feel like, you know, you could have even have gotten drunk married. Could have been in Vegas. Um whatever the case may be, there's a commitment here you, while you were traveling. You were drinking here. Um, somebody was being very slick. Somebody was being, they had hidden intentions, whatever the case may be. They had hidden intentions. I see that you're discontent. You could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's two people here. Somebody, both of them wanted to be with you in a new beginning. Aries, you may have had two people that um, you were dealing with or that wanted to be with you. You're discontent trying to master your emotions. You could be mad at both the King of Cups and the King of, of, of Pinnacles here. They wanted to be with you in a new beginning of a relationship. Here you are, you're not speaking, you're manifesting a Queen of Cups. It could be a friend to, you know, I feel like to hold you back, to keep you away from them so that you could walk away, holding, holding them back so you could get away. Um, whatever the case may be, you may have already been in a relationship with a king of swords. I feel like something happened while you were drunk, while on vacation. You need the strength to make a decision. Do you want to be with one of these? Now, I don't know if you're, if this is, um, I feel like there's two people here that wanted to be with you. Here you are, but you are already in a relationship. I feel like you may have been in Mexico or Vegas, or you're, you're probably in a bridal shower or something. Something went down, okay? And you have your friend here trying to, to uh, get you away from these people. So I feel like for you, Aries, <laughs> you could have got yourself in some trouble while you're on vacation. Yeah, definitely could have got yourself in some trouble on vacation. How they feel about you. I feel like you got three on the three on the hook if you wanted it. Um, Taurus.
So you need to read between the lines when it comes to this masculine energy, or this could be you. You could be the masculine here. It has to do with storm warnings from the past, past memories. You're still trying to read between the lines. I feel like there's something that you're not really realizing. This is past um, upheaval or drama that happened in the past. This is a past memory of the drama. You may be a masculine energy here. You need to really read between the lines to see what was really going on. I feel like this is the tables have turned, Taurus. I feel like for you on this, you may have had a third party option trying to take that leap, but it's almost like you know this person was a player. Women can be players too. Getting some clarity of somebody being in and out, playing mind games. You need an opportunity to look back at these past mistakes. You really wanted to be with this person in your judgment, you, but it's almost like you regret how you felt or what you thought. Tell me about this third party. The truth about, you're finding out the truth, the truth about this third party that took a leap. They took, it's almost like you had to think about this and this person was in and out causing drama. Third party was hiding some, some stuff from you. I feel like you got caught up in something and now you're, you're looking, but you're seeing between the lines. Maybe you're seeing the truth in all of it finally. So I feel like there was a choice that needed to be made here. Somebody was doing something intentionally is what I think. I feel like if there was a third party, maybe trying to come between you and somebody, and now you regret how you felt about them or whatever your judgment was back then. Okay, so Gemini, I got Gemini at 7.30. Gemini, you have somebody from your past that's in love with you. They're hiding it. They're hiding it. So use your intuition. You know, when it comes to matters of the heart, they're, seek, they're, they're hiding something. Use your intuition about this ex-lover. This person still is in love with you. Tell me about Gemini. Or you could be in love with your ex. Mm, I feel like it's on the other side, though. I feel like you're trying to move on from the drama. Somebody wants to apologize and reconcile. They've manifested this. This is about, this is about a relationship. This is a twin. Jim and I, I feel like <clears throat> that with that relationship, you could see that there could be equal give and take between the two of you. Somebody wants to move past the drama. They want to apologize. They want to reconcile. They're manifesting the relationship. You see that you can have equal give and take too with this person. You're passionately communicating to the empress. There's a clear opportunity here, but you're resisting it. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. There's a clear relationship here that you're resisting. I feel like you're not realizing who this person is to you. But they really have a lot of love for you. It's an ex-lover. They really do have a lot of love for you, Gemini. So Cancer. Cancer at 950. You have somebody, <laughs> you have a player here. Mm. 
This person may have money problems. What I'm feeling is this person's going to be using you. Cancer, you have somebody coming towards you that's going to, wanting to use you both in a sexual relationship and for your money. This is definitely a karmic. I feel like, yeah, I feel like this is going to be painful for you. It's going to be painful, Cancer. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It could be somebody you know from the past. This is a lot of juggling here, and somebody may have been blocked in divine timing, King of Swords, from the past. Because there is no equal give and take here. It, you're manifesting unhappiness. This is manifesting unhappiness. You know this person's not good for you. You know this person's not worth your time and energy. But if you go there, it will be painful. I promise you. Right? You're trying to hold back. You're wishing to hold back and walk away. It's almost like, tell me about this. You're resisting working with this person because you know they're a player. They're in and out. They're there for a good time, not a long time, right? And I feel like you know it's just going to be, and, and they're obsessed with arguing. They're obsessed with arguing with you, Cancer. Um, cancer, leave this person at the door. Do not let you, do not, do not, cro do not collect, uh, what is the word I'm looking for, man? Words, Barbara. Do not open the door for this person. If you do, you're going to regret it. Okay, Leo at 12. 10. Okay. Divine intervention, heartbreak and karma. You've got the devil. So this is definitely karma. Leo, you're dealing with some karma here. Maybe you put hard work. Maybe there was cooperation or something, but... It, Divine intervention, this is karma, uh, obsessed with somebody coming in and taking it off of you, but you feel hurt and betrayed. You felt like you put in the work, right? Tell me about Leo. Tell me about Leo. You're looking back at past mistakes, you're trapped in your head. Your judgment was to end something because that was your wish fulfillment. Could have been with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. So you're looking back at past mistakes. You're trapped in your head about your judgment. Whatever you thought, you've got to reevaluate. Um, this is an ending. Your wish fulfillment. I feel like this is, you're wanting something to end here. Whatever your judgment was ended your wish fulfillment. There is a queen of cups needing strength to take a leap because of the harsh truth about the king of pentacles. I don't know who the king of pentacles is here, but this person's no longer speaking. They're working in divine timing to heal. They're resisting a new beginning is illuminated. Okay. I feel like you two were fighting over a man. I feel like this is a fight over a man. You're looking at a past mistake trapped in your head about your judgment, which ended your wish fulfillment. 
So whatever you did ended your wish fulfillment. But then there's also a queen of cups needing strength to take a leap. But the harsh truth about the king of pentacles, they're not speaking. This person's working on healing. And this person, it, yeah, this is a fight over a guy. You may have gotten in a fight over it. You both got karma here. Whatever the case may be, Leo, this is bringing in karma because divine intervention is here to try to heal a situation. But if somebody was obsessed with putting in the work, maybe it was you, but you ended up heartbroken. So I feel like you were invested into something and because of your judgment and how you handled something, it ended your wish fulfillment. So I got Virgo at 1550. Hey, you're getting the answers. There's a woman getting the answers. Spiritual awakening and generation, family, children, ancestors. Um, maybe your guides are giving you some, looks like your guides are guiding you here. Tell me about Virgo. I feel like this is maybe you found something out the harsh truth about the deception you found out what was happening you moved on you manifested your wish fulfillment to offer your cup I feel like here you made a choice here to take that leap of faith you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius but there was drama you're trapped in your head trying to master your emotions I feel like you've gone through a lot. Maybe that's what this is about. Your eyes being open to something here. Could be about family. You're getting some answers. I feel like you're reflecting here and you're resisting an offer from a queen of wands. I, your eyes are being open to what I'm seeing here. What I'm gathering is that you've been dealing with some people who you really need to pay attention to the red flags with, like your eyes are opening. Your intuition is kicking in. You're possibly uh, starting to understand. That's why you're resisting and cutting out any mind games and manipulation of anybody who's trying to come in and offer you that. I feel like you're reflecting that and resisting. So I feel like what's happening is you're starting to see things for what they really are in that spiritual awakening, opening you up you're finding the answers this may be you may have this may be guides and guardians around you because this is generations ancestors origin children it could be any you know when it comes to family that could be family soul family here or there so um virgo you may just be realizing what people's real intentions are because you're you're finally waking up to it Okay. Libra at 18. Okay. Libra, right off the bat, you got somebody's hiding the truth. They're masking the truth. It's being hidden from a third. It's about a third party. This third, per this third party could be hiding the truth or your person could be hiding the truth because that's their wish. Um, but I almost feel like that's not, I almost feel like it's this third party's wish to mask the truth. I feel like it's the third party's wish to, ma to mask the truth here. So tell me about... Okay. 
I feel like the third party wants to take that leap of faith towards a king of swords. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or it could just be somebody who's in fight mode kind of thing. Um, you have a third party here. Their wish fulfillment is somebody from the past. But I feel like there was an argument and they were cut off and now they're, they're having some regrets for their deception. Whatever the case may be, this third party did something they shouldn't have done. Right? And I feel they won a victory in love, but now they ended up heartbroken. So if the... The third party, what's happening, Libra, is the third party doesn't want you to know that they're no longer in the picture. They're masking the truth. This is the wish of this person. They want you to think that they're still in the picture and they're not. Because they want to be with you. Okay, so... Hmm. Scorpio at 2108. Scorpio, you could have an issue being at, being at a crossroads about children or your relationship being on social media. You don't want to post your business. I feel like you, you don't want to share your business with the world. You don't want people in your business. This makes sense. Scorpio, you don't want people in your business. You may keep your children, your, your relationship off social media because you have your own reasons, whatever that, you know, you don't want people, you don't want people in your business. I feel like you're moving forward. You may be heartbroken. You're waiting, obsessed with justice. There's an opportunity to walk away here and make a decision. You've been manifesting this for a long time. You protecting your kids. I feel like you protecting your kids. Oh, because somebody may have cheated. Scorpio, there may have been a third party situation. I feel like what's happening for you. I feel like what's happening for you is your relationship is over and you're trying to protect your children by not posting it on social media because you got social media here, child being at a crossroads about the relationship on social media. There's no equal give and take. You don't want people to know your business. You're simply not posting anything that has to do with your breakup or your children. You're trying to protect your family. Um, opportunity to walk away. You made the decision to walk away. You made the decision to um, clear your energy here. And you don't want to put your business in the streets. That's what I'm feeling like. Okay, so I've got 20, 2320 for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, romantic feelings and new love. It's coming towards you. Ooh. Sagittarius. Okay, how do they feel? Well, you got new love coming in. Romantic feelings, safety and security, and this on its way. You may, you may, uh, it, it's like coming towards you. It could be, let's see if we can get a timeline on this. Tell me about Sagittarius. It could be two days, two weeks, two months. You got the, the two of cups right out the gate. Because it's new love coming towards you. There's a partnership here. You can see that there's going to be a partnership. Ooh, you got the emperor here. Sagittarius sitting right next to you. You got to master your emotions. This emperor could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You see this relationship. I feel like you're in your, your intuition about this. I feel like um, you're overcoming obstacles. You're using your intuition. You've made the right choice. You see things from a different perspective. I, what I feel like is happening... What I feel like is what you're intending to do here is be able to work and collaborate 
with each other by emotionally communicating. In other words, you, this is going to be a good relationship for you, Sagittarius, because you guys are starting it off on the right page by building with communication, right? Being honest with one another, being straightforward with one another. You got pre-empress energy to the emperor. This is your twin flame. Being honest with one another, again, with the Ace of Swords to, to, to work on the commitment. So I feel like this person coming towards you, you're going to feel this pull toward this person, the anchor. Maybe this anchor is like a solid thing for the two of you because, you know, the, the, the twin is your anchor, right? Um, and I feel like you're going to be working on the relationship and being very honest with one another to build this relationship. I think that's a great start for you. Okay, so Capricorn at 26. <clears throat> Capricorn, you're hiding your anxiety because you know there's an enemy here something needs to end with this enemy with this person there's jealousy envy there's all kinds of stuff with that snake that snake's got to end but you're hiding your anxiety you're trying to keep uh you're trying to keep your poker face on here Capricorn. So I feel like there's emotional communication, but there's an opportunity, you know, in this uh, emotional communication, there's an opportunity to work on the truth. Like, figuring out the truth of the situation. You're trying to use your intuition here, but it's causing you a tower moment because of the harsh truth that you want to walk away from the deception. You'll walk away from this person if this isn't over because you have something nasty here, right? This snake is nasty and it needs to end, right? You'll walk away from the, if this person's lying, you're trapped in your head about this relationship it's been your judgment for a long time that there's a lot of mind games and manipulation happening. Yeah. I feel like for you, you know that this, if you're hiding the fact that you're anxious about the fact, this has to end. And this is about, there's been open communication about being honest. It's causing you a tower moment and you will walk away if there's any deception because you know this person's up to no good. Aquarius at 28.30. I feel like there's something going on with your friend group, Aquarius. You know, because I feel like you, you're gambling something here that's going to make you feel isolated or lonely. You've seen signs and synchronicities. Maybe your friends are more like frenemies. You know, it's almost like maybe they're pushing you to do something risky, and it's almost like they're, they're making fun of you somehow. Okay. I feel like your friends are putting you in a vicarious position. This could be harmful to you in a lot of different ways. 
I feel like you're going to feel alone and that this is a risk. Um, you should be paying attention to the red flags. Um, your friends and acquaintances, they're leading you down a path that, that could be harmful to you. Waiting for communication about the commitment between you and I, I feel like Queen of Cups. I don't know if you're married to this person. They're trying to find out if you're still married to this person. Um, but your friends, your friends aren't your friends. They have ulterior motives. You're very guarded and, and it's almost like guarded and defensive when it comes to love. You, you want to move forward with your partner. But you feel like they're watching you. It's almost like maybe they're trying to bait you or something. Uh, they've got their eye on you. They're watching you. You could work with these people. You're looking back at past mistakes when they caused a tower moment. They've done this to you before. You've got to look at this from a different perspective because you do know the truth. You know what these people are about. You know what they're about. Why do you hang out with them? This, the, they're trying to interfere. They're trying to do something. They're trying to lead you down the wrong path, Aquarius, period. They, they really are. Um, and at 3120, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, you've been through it. There's burdens and dark times. You've been through some heavy energy here. And I feel like you're going to take a chance being single. You would rather be single than be with somebody who is not going to treat you the way you deserve to be treated, right? So you're risking, you're taking that leap of faith. You're going to try to be a, a, a single person because you've been through a lot of drama. There you are taking that leap in your judgment. To end watching somebody else, King of Swords, King of Pentacles. This person may have hurt you in the past because you're King of, you have two people. You have your eye on two people and you're, you're deciding to move on from this. Because of their deception, you're moving on to a new commitments. You're looking at past mistakes you're working on closing out cycles because they were burdened because your wish fulfillment is a new passionate beginning. It's cut and dry. You're tired of the bullshit from the past and you're taking a risk and just saying, hey, look, I'll be single for a while, you know, and then, you know, because of the burdens and the deception, you're closing out the cycle and your wish fulfillment is a new passionate beginning. Maybe you're just going to date. Maybe you're not going to get serious with anybody, but that's what I feel for you, Pisces. So guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay blessed.